You got to give a little, take a little, and let your poor heart break a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. I'm talking about love. You're gonna laugh a little, gonna cry a little. Hip hop, laugh, and go on by them. That's the story of. celebrate Susan and say thank you. And I know a lot of you have done it in your own personal way. In 1990, it was called the Brattleboro Area AIDS Project. And so in those days, I think maybe there were 11 people that we had um, who we were serving with support services who were living with HIV AIDS. And we had a volunteer training, uh, which trained people to be buddies, which at that time, as many of you will remember, was to provide companionship to folks who were ill and dying of AIDS. Mm -hmm. Well, in this country, as you know, uh, in 1981, there was uh, an article written that identified something called the gay plague, which of course has lasted as a, as a way of defining AIDS, which is not accurate. And so it was a terrifying time. So there was a great deal of stigma and fear to overcome and the folks that started the AIDS Project in Southern Vermont were the brave ones because they could see that the AIDS epidemic, which at this time in the late 80s was centered in New York and San Francisco and the big cities, would affect people in Vermont. And there's no reason why it shouldn't affect people in Vermont. And yet the denial at that time, of course, was limited staff at that time. I think we had four part-time staff people. And over the years we've grown to today when we have uh, probably 70 people that we're working with at any one time, not only in Brattleboro but also in Bennington County. And we have a prevention program for gay and bisexual men and a prevention program for women at heterosexual risk. There are many people who support this organization because they know somebody and there are many people who support this organization who have family members who are affected by HIV. But everybody understands the need for nutrition. Everybody understands the need for transportation. Everybody understands the need for health care, for insurance, for housing. All of those things exist in this organization in the context of the HIV AIDS epidemic. It has to do with social justice, which is a strong theme in this community because HIV affects those in our communities who are least able to meet the challenges of everyday life. And that's something that this community understands. Susan, that because she has touched our life, our life is rich. When I first visited the AIDS Project about four years ago, I think, and, and met the staff, one of the things I was very aware of, how long the staff members had been there, and how what a family it was, and that that really says something about the leader, that engenders that kind of caring and and companionship and, and working with staff and, and just giving them inspiration to be there. Susan has been phenomenal. You can tell at every board meeting and every single event we go to how much she cares about the clients, the staff, the board, the entire AIDS project. So we have now 10 staff members and we have um, a much more well-organized, mature organizational approach. What we haven't left behind is the sense that this is a community-based, grassroots organization that is the community. The community represents a very successful response to the HIV-AIDS epidemic 
by a rural area. We have a relationship with 14 faith communities and the Brattleboro Food Co-op in which we post white doves, um, paper doves, which um, tell that there is a, let's say, a single mom living with HIV and this single mom needs a certain kind of tuna fish. And we post that dove at the faith communities and at the Brattleboro Food Co-op, some, uh, co somebody picks up the dove, buys the item, and a volunteer brings it back to this office, and then we hand it off to the person who needs it. As a relatively new board member, I joined in May of this year, but got to know Susan and the AIDS Project during the first Walk for Life. And the gifts and the strength that Susan had in the beginning has carried through to where we are now and to where the project will go in the future. Her compassion, her energy, her being an advocate, being a great companion to others, She's a person of inspiration, and you've brought AIDS and the HIV awareness when it was such a stigma back in the 90s to bring it to life, to bring it to people that, you know, friends and um, citizens of this town. And so I just want to thank you for that. We need to be here today to tell Susan that because she has touched our life, my life is richer. And I'm sure a lot of us are telling her that in our own individual way. Now I'm speaking for the staff, that now it's my turn. You're outstanding. the glory of love.